So the update of uh, the FGC 6.8 yeah, have been uh, completed. So the new TPX lower will have a new uh, magazine bar. It's now one piece. I'm not sure if I explained it already, but we will do it really shortly now again. So it is one piece in case you got the older one. Yeah, the manual will explain how to modify this so you can just use your old lower and then use the new magazine um, mag, mag catch. Uh, besides that, there are not really big updates done on all the lowers. All the lowers have done, uh, gotten an update, but it is really a small minor update. Uh, so if your lower and upper works fine, you can just use them and keep using them. Um, but the lowers will now have markings that it will tell what lower it is for what magazine and also for what upper it will be used with because it will mix a little bit depending on the lower you choose if you're familiar with the platform you know what I'm talking about so some uppers can be used with multiple lowers and some are really specific with one type of lower um, also there's a little bit of reinforcement cut out of here at the lower meaning that uh, the uppers can be a little bit stronger at, uh, at where the bolt is placed so this part will be a little bit longer on the uppers this will work fine with old lowers it's only that the new lowers will have a little bit of a rounded shape right here so in case you need to reprint your uppers and you want to keep using your old lowers you can either make space for that round shape right there with a melt and a soldering iron and kind of melt it away or you either just cut it straight off again that way you can use it on your old lower uh, also the uppers will tell what type of an upper it is just to clarify a little bit should not be that complicated and again like mentioned before uh, there's a new way to close off the regulator with the little uh, end cap of the regulator will go in there and then the grip screw instead of this setup with uh, the o-ring 3d printed piece and the screw the, with that said the manual also explain that you can still use this same upper just with the o-ring again instead of the 3d uh, 3d printed piece you will use a small piece of a small piece of a steel rod and you will cut that off instead instead of that little piece just so it is metal on o-ring contact against metal of the regulator so there's no chance that there's something going to leak you do have to make sure of course that it is really straight and smooth so you don't cut the o-ring and cause it to leak but when that is done correctly it should be really a solid fit and you can then still use this same upper fine without any issues uh, what I also have taken the time for was uh, really looking having a close look to my TPX air valve and parts let's say and the one that I in the past modified to be a little bit more like a TMC and with the uh, now with the TMC, the TCR and the TCR parts so that will be the, the spool this is referred to as the spool that sits inside of the air valve but also all the holes made inside of the TPX and this is a modified one TPX uh, air valve and this I have done before I had a 3D printer but I've made now jigs and pieces like that that you can place inside of there just to protect some of the parts while you do the mods and also to help you guide to make the correct cuts let's say and also how deep you need to go with an, um, a, a cutter let's say and uh, mill it out let's say uh, this is of course not without any risk so if you don't want to do it I can fully understand and then don't do it if you feel skilled enough to do it then the manual will kind of explain what you can cut away for each piece um, with some of the jigs it will 
maybe help you out maybe you sh look at them and see like mm, it's only more for marking stuff so I know where precisely it needs to be and I'll leave it with that and don't use the trusted jigs let's say or you use them it's up to you of course I do recommend if you're going to do it that you at, at the very least check if you can still buy a um, TPX air valve complete assembly or at least the, the parts let's say let's say that you mess up this part that you can at least buy a replacement and just um, go at least don't have stuck with a broken uh, TPX or uh, FTC 68 um, that's something that I did in the past I bought a second uh, TPX valve then milled it out and then I was kinda like um, at least at an assurement like if I mess it up at least I got or I, it, it does it makes it worse performing then I can go back to the original in hindsight now it's also good that I have still an original so I can kinda reference the sizes um, also have got in my hands on the TPX long range kit so I could kinda measure out how long the springs are from the bolt, how it differed and how you can recognize those in case you do have some let's say TCR long range kit parts and you're mixing it up you don't know anymore what is what it will the manual will tell you uh, what to do about it so in in the big picture there's not really a lot of happened but it is mostly that the upper is a little bit more reinforced now a little bit different assembly part of here but I think the biggest update about it that is positive is the, the manual it's a lot more clear than the videos less long winded and things like that and I hope that will help you guys with the build about the Partisan 6.8 edition uh, that will be a winter project I don't see me doing it right now I've got a lot of other projects already open and disassembled on, on the table and that needs to be finished before I can start a new project otherwise I get uh, a little bit crazy so yeah that is pretty much it uh, you can find the links for it below um, if you already have one you might want to read through it as well the, the PDFs and kind of see if you see something uh, a tip or an hint that you like um, also if you read it and you see that it's missing something uh, it have been a few days project for me to work on it, it takes a lot of time for me and uh, maybe I've kind of skipped something then just let me know then I will, uh, will add it to it to the PDF but uh, and also a, a, a fun note with the airsoft edition I've taken a few pages and I show their builds from other people in case you have already made one and you like to be featured in it uh, then uh, just uh, contact me on let's say the discords most easy place to do it and just show the pictures and then I can edit and I can also give you the credit of course that you are the builder of it but then you get a nice fun collection of um, builds let's say and you can see the variations and the colors and things like that. that's really fun to see so yeah that's uh, something that's up to you guys if you want to be part of it but uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much it for now and see you guys uh, next time